If you ever come to the Northern Territory, you only have to remember one name, and that is Steve Compain. Now, Steve's a busy man because he wears two hats. One hat is his two Tackle World stores, not just one, but two Tackle World stores here in the Northern Territory. The second hat, Arafura Blue Water Charters. They leave from Cullum Bay, three boats. This is the man, Steve. Hey, Paul. Great to see you again. You too, mate. What's the plan for this beautiful Darwin night? Mate, we're going to cruise down the coast for about an hour. We've got a tide change, about an hour's time, so we're going to hopefully target a few Jewies, you know, the black Jews. Yep. And then we'll just keep cruising down the coast, mate. We've got, the skipper's got it planned out. You know, we've got quite a few spots to hit, so. Let's do it. I'm excited about the Jewies, but mostly the pizza, Steve. Pizza's I think we deserve a yeah, just a quick snack, Let's mate. go. Okay. Two hours of steam, we've arrived at the location. Simple rig, Paternoster for a change. Think on the bottom, I've got a two hook snell rig hanging off the end of that, and it's interchangeable. Not only that, you can take it off, and here's my soury head. If I just lay these two hooks along there like that, I can see the back hook will end up about there. And this back hook, you can see that little imprint there, just go in the side of the bait and out like so. And then my front hook, I can just poke that up and under in the head. The head is the toughest part of the fish, so always get a good hook in the head because that's the bit that will survive the first bite. It's ready to go. Steve, I'm set for action. Mate, what have you got there? That squid. looks good. Mate, I'm a bit more basic up here. <laughs> and what about your baiting <laughs> techniques? <laughs> yes, pretty basic. Owner hook, yep. circle hook. I've got a bit of a, um, what would you call it? A, a, bit of a, a sausage a roll. Sausage roll, yeah. you got to sour um, up the squid. That's it. Just a hook in the tail there and uh, maybe with the jewies just feed it to them. Feed it to him, and you'll have him. Well, I'll be feeding him a line. <laughs> Let's get these baits out there, mate, and see how we get on. This boat is pure luxury. And it is so cool when you travel two hours into the middle of the ocean, in the middle of the night. I've got no idea where I am, but our skipper does, which is a really good thing. And when you can get your rod just bouncing like that, it makes you feel good inside all warm and fuzzy on a Darwin evening. They've got some power, haven't they? Well, yeah. Whatever this fish is... It's got some good drag on there. It has power and there's a lot of drag. I haven't gone all the way up to the button. I had it up at the button just before we got our camera turn on and it did almost pull me <laughs> over the back of the boat. Here we go. It's a Jewy. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that eye. That is just so cool. Look at the size of that. <laughs> That's a nice fish, Paul. I've got him. Going well straight off, mate. And that's the size hey. of that fish. How big do you reckon he is, mate? Oh, what's he got to be? 14 kilos, something like that? Around 30 pound plus yep. of dew fish. I'm going to lay him down. You'll have to, I think. You're not going to Because I can't hold him any longer. <laughs> that is just from a little town south of Cullen Bay called Wrongtown. Wow, we. Hey, that's a nice fish. I just want to pick this fish up again because I cannot physically believe how big it is. It will take all my strength, but I will try. Come on, sweetness. Oh. And roll her over. That is a Darwin Jew. And let me just say, Steve Compain. Hey, nice fish. I never doubted it, but you are the man. Just take a look at that. Now I'm gonna walk this through. It could take the entire show, but follow me from front to back. Here we go. And a wave goodbye. <laughs> Adios, amigo. Oh, look at that for quality. <laughs> People often email and ask, what sort of bait do you use? Is bait quality important? Absolutely. And look at this down here, a display of bait. This little squid here comes in a box from the Bay of California, it's called Californian squid. We get food grade squid that goes out of date and then we use them for bait. But look at these two, these two were just caught. These are baby arrow squid from the Arafura Sea. How cool is that little guy there? It is just about the same size as our squid jig. And believe it or not, that will make one of the best baits ever. Jelly bean size, and that, that's his big brother. You could not get better bait than fresh bait. These are caught on location, but no relation. How good are they for some beautiful fresh baits for Jewies?
How's this thing? I've never caught one of these. It's called a sand bass. And for all intensive purposes, it pretty much looks exactly like a little barramundi. Uh, I don't know where else you catch them. I believe they get them in cans as well. Ow! Oh! And they're spiky and slippery too. This is a big, big fish. 50 pound fins braid, a TLD reel. And this fish is serious. Look at the buck on that rod. There we go, it's as high as I can wind. And I reckon that's 100 kilos plus a very sleepy shark. Don't get pulled in, Decky. We have an aquarium behind the boat tonight. Lights attract fish. And look at this guy. You may wonder why the massive pectoral fins and the big anal fins down there, that is a flying fish. And the longest recorded flight was over in Africa somewhere. I can't remember, it was hundreds and hundreds of metres. These guys shoot out of the ocean, they fold their wings down to take off, and then they physically fly across the ocean. Imagine a fish that can fly, now you've seen it. And another unique thing, if you look at that caudal fin down the back there, the tail, you notice the lower lobe is actually longer than the top lobe, and that is what helps give them lift. That has to be one of the most prettiest, beautiful fish I've ever seen. The only time I ever got close to one was in, again, in Mexico, a dolphin fish spat one out. They're not fins, they're wings. It's just like a butterfly, and kids, believe it or not, this is a fish that can fly. That is just unbelievable. Oh. Joey, that, that feels good. Get rid of my rod. That looks awesome, mate. Bit of a head shake there. Here Sun. it comes. It comes pretty shallow. Here it comes. Oh, oh, what is it? No, look at that. It's a cod. Cod. It is oh. massive. <laughs> wow, we. Wow, we. That is look awesome. That. <laughs> look at the size of that. Being a, a cod or a groper to be a member of the Serenidae family of fishes, cods, gropers, and coral trout, they are all excellent eating. Just pick her up, mate. Oh, mate. Look at that for an awesome fish. It's called a rock cod. It is mate. just insane. You reckon they're good chewing, are you? They are good eating, you know, but we'll, we'll try to let him go. You're going to dislike me because I'm going to make you put him back. <laughs> just look at the girth of that. He's ready to go. Just need a bit of writing. He's pumped and off he goes. Dawn, look, there he goes, heading down. Steve-o, a dewy, you reckon? I don't know, mate. Oh! Though. Oh, I don't believe it. I've been just caught it out tonight. That is huge, though. That is just a massive fish. We must be fishing the cod hole, mate. Oh, there's a lot of weight there. Now, this is a Trinidad 16 narrow. And the reason I like a narrow reel, you can see it's very narrow, because I did four years of biomechanics, and I know that a narrow reel keeps the center of gravity over the base support very well, so it doesn't want to roll over as you're winding. And there oh, is a big Jew. Look at that. This fish just went off. What a night I'm having. Two Jews, not as big as the other one, but still a beautiful fish. Wowee, Steve. Okay. Look at that. I just cannot believe, I'll put him down there. Oh, calm down, mate, I cannot believe. Two fish in one night. Now the last fish we weighed, because we kept that fish, it actually went 17 and a half kilos. Based on that, I'd probably put this fish at about 14. Around that, yeah. About 14. 14 yep. And believe it or not, now I'm gonna pick this fish up and show you. See the size of this fish? It's about 1.2 meters. It's only three to four years of age. This fish is one tenth the age of a 35 centimetre brim. So don't feel bad about keeping it. We know a lot about the successful survival rates of these yeah. fish, yeah. and it's not good news, is it? No, not good at all. So Steve, a fish of this size, is there any chance at living we put it back? Not really, Paul. We're just over 20 metres of water, so you know, the survival rate's probably, what, 25% if you're lucky, but no, not really. So basically the reason this fish won't live is because of the pressure when it pulls up on its air bladder. Fisheries research has shown that. So it's only three years old, maybe four at max, one of the fastest growing fish in the ocean. We've only taken two, and now it's time to chase something a bit bigger. Let's go awesome, catch, Let's go catch a few more. <laughs> I was talking earlier about the jewels from a dewfish. They're located just at the back of the head here, and that fish we caught earlier, we've actually got his jewels out. There is jewels. Now we call them jewels, they look a little bit like pearl or hard shell. They're actually the fish's otolus bone, and scientists can cover them in resin, and then take shavings from the otolus bone. And just like you can see how old a tree is from the amount of rings, they can actually age the fish through the otolus bone that it comes out of its head. 
And that is how they know a fish of this size is only three to four years of age. Oh! Gotcha! Oh, Steve-o! What do you got there, Paul? I don't know, they pull hard though. Whatever it is. Oh. Probably one of those trickies, mate. They're like bull terriers. What have we got here? Oh, nice tricky. Look at that. No, it's a red throat. Yeah, same. It's not a tricky, it's a red throat. It's, I tell you what's tricky, the fact that every fish around here has got ten names. Come here, mate. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous tricky snapper, also called red throat because of this. Look at that red throat, just like my red owner SSW hook. That's just a baby. They grow a lot bigger, no size limit in the Northern Territory. Once again, fantastic eating fish. This one's going back. Steve, plenty of pickers down there. Yeah, little trickies and cods and that, mate. I, I've just about had enough, I think. Absolutely, we've been at it for a long time. It's now 4.37 a.m. The bunks are that way. We're gonna have a quick kip and we'll see you when the sun is up over the horizon, wherever the horizon is, because I can't yeah, see it. It'll be a bit warmer then too, Paul. Absolutely, time for a snooze and then we'll finish this epic adventure. With a little more than three hours sleep, the boys gave me a nudge and we were back into it. The fishing was just too hot to sleep. A new day, Steve-o. Three hours sleep. <laughs> yeah, the sun's up a bit. And the fishing is still red hot. Oh. It's another red throat. Look at that. Oh. The bottom here is just alive with big, fat, beautiful fish of every description, oh. every shape and size. Go, Steve-o. <laughs> uh, oh. That's giving you a bit of curry, mate. Right? I had to pull them all the way up. Nice and little tricky. Excuse that D hooker here. Another red throat. They're thick, aren't they, mate? Oh, yeah. And they're good eating, too. They're a nice they little good fish. Eating? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Red throat and a cod. Before oh, yeah. most people even risen from their bed. Look at that, what a beautiful fish. Steve suggests we put a bait out for mackerel. And that is the bait, it's a sowry. Three big gang hooks onto single strand American fishing wire. Own a swivel to a big snap and there's a little ball sinker. That'll just hold that bait down in the current a little bit. We drop that in the water and there is actually a pink balloon here somewhere. And that is our float. That slides on the line so we can organise our depth to be exactly half of what we're fishing in. And just let the current take that away as the boat drifts away, that balloon will shoot out the back. Excellent technique for catching big mackerel. Trap is set. Let's see what it produces. Now, it didn't take long before it screamed off. It's a very effective way of catching your big pelagic fish up this way. Steve actually suggested it. And this thing now has its head down and going hard. What do you reckon, Steve-o? Come in and make a call, mate. Oh, mate, I don't know. Well, that's not a shark. It doesn't look sharky, does it? No, it's a snapper, isn't it? Goldie. Oh, it is too. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh look at goldie. that. Bring him around the back. What a beautiful fish. It's a big golden snapper. And talk about being kissed on the back of the head. But look at that. Oh, and hook him. What a beautiful fish. Wow, wee. Bring him around to the decky. Beautiful fish. Look at that, Paul. Wow, wee. That is just a monstrous fish. Just going to step around. So much for the shark, Paul. Yeah, so much for the shark. <laughs> we don't miss a trick here. Now, that is an awesome, awesome fish. 
Oh, those gang hooks are good. They sure do hang on, don't they? Mate. And it took it mid-water too. That's crazy. It's, it has swum all. Oh, calm down, boy. It has swum off the bottom to eat that soury, which was, what, three metres below the surface? Yes, exactly. In 12 metres of water? Mate, what a beautiful fish. What can you tell me about golden snapper? Mate, um, after well, a bit of research on it, um, after about 15 metres pulling them off the bottom, they, yep. they seem to do a lot of damage to their organs. Yep. And um, the survival rate's not too good. But we're about 12, 13 metres of water, so we'll let him go. This fish is actually a member of the Lujanet family, similar to the PNG black bass, also like a mangrove jack. Looks a bit like a jack, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, especially the teeth on it. Absolutely. Pulls really, really hard. And the thing about this fish, probably about 15 years of age, fairly slow growing, and the female doesn't reach her prime, her sexual maturity, until she's around 70 centimetres, which would be a little bit longer than that. It's your lucky day, mate, because you come to the top to take a bait, you're going back. Enjoy. Well, Mr. Compain, you can't complain about that. <laughs> if you're ever in Darwin, find Arafira Blue Water Charters or pop into one of his two Tackle World stores. It's well worth a look. I did it myself yesterday. It's all good, Steve. Good one, Paul. Love your work. I'm Paul Worsling. Remember, I fish with Tackle World.